We've had this here DeWalt planer for about five or six years. And yesterday we noticed once we were planing some boards <laughs> that, that it wasn't pulling the boards through like it used to when we, it was brand new. So we probably figured that the rollers must have been dirty. So we're gonna show you what it's doing and then we're gonna try to clean the rollers and see what it does after that. And we're gonna show you how we clean them. Yep. Stay tuned, fellers. So you guys can see that we barely took anything off this. We still got our pencil lines on here, so that shows you we barely even took anything off this board and it wouldn't hardly pull it through there. So we're gonna raise this thing all the way up here, clean our rollers off here and see if it does a better job pulling our board through there. We've got about four parts water and one part mineral spirits that we're gonna clean ours with. Now, if you read online, they suggest that you don't clean these with anything or you don't use mineral spirits or denatured alcohol on anything like that or anything rubber, but this is what we're gonna use. We've planed a lot of pine two befores and pine framing lumber down, so we're gonna use just a little bit of this mineral spirits just to help get that resin off our rollers. The main thing is, is just use common sense when cleaning your rollers on your planer. Obviously, you know, you don't want to use gasoline or bleach or anything like that that's going to harm the rubber. And yes, you don't want to use anything with petroleum in it on rubber because it can swell your rubber up or deteriorate your rubber. But you're not soaking, we're not soaking our, our rollers in this stuff and we've diluted it down. You're just simply dampening a rag and wiping them off. So in my opinion, I think that it should be fine. So what I'm gonna do, just to turn my rollers, I'm just gonna plug it in, flip the switch on and off, let them turn, wipe them off, and continue that till I get my, all, my rollers all the way wiped off. Make sure you unplug it when your fingers are underneath there. I don't know about you, but I like all mine. One of the main reasons why your, your planer rollers might get, get dirty is if you don't have a good dust collection system on there, like you're not sucking all your dust out while you're using your planer, as your board's going through, all the dust and the material that you're planing off is getting smashed up into your roller. So you're smashing all that dust and all the planer shavings up into your roller, and especially if you're using, or if you're planing down pine or any type of wood that's got a heavy resin in it, it's gonna, want a, more sawdust or stuff's gonna want to stick to your rollers, which then is not gonna let the rollers pull your boards through. And you can't tell me that you ain't never had your discharge tube clog up on you from all them sawdust shavings. So now that we got these things clean and wiped off here, we're gonna lower this thing back down, send the same board back through here and see if it fixes our problem. So we cleaned our rollers, we sent our board through there, and it helped out a lot. We're going to try to help it out just a little bit more by turning our blades around because they're probably dull. So we're going to turn around to the sharp side and see how much better that does. New blades, clean rollers, see what she does. We 
Looks like a new one.